What's up everybody, Eddie here, and um, I know in the past month it's been pretty crazy. I've been all over the place when it came to my cell phone provider. And this is just an update as to who, I, who I'm sticking with and who I'm putting all my, all, whose basket I'm putting all my eggs in. And that's Xfinity. I decided to go back to Xfinity after spending two days with Sprint. The, the difference in service was day and night. Um, I, as I said before, Sprint, uh, um, Sprint service in general here where I live, my experience was utter trash, garbage. Um, and um, one thing about Xfinity that was a major issue was the crappy customer service. Now, I can say this, from my experience with both companies, Xfinity customer service is worse than Sprint customer service, in my experience. But the service, what I'm using, is leaps and bounds ahead of Sprint. So I decided to stick with the service because how many times do you really have to call um, the, your, mobile, your mobile provider throughout the month? You know what I'm saying? And we live in a day and age of uh, vast knowledge on the internet. So if you're facing a problem, you can nine times out of ten just Google it and get the answer without having to call them. So that's what helped me uh, lean towards Xfinity uh, was the service. It was most in part of the service. Uh, I knew that I barely called customer service, so I wasn't worried about that nonsense. I just wanted great, sir, great just data, texting, calling, and I knew I'd get that with Xfinity. Now. Uh, I did cancel with them. Uh, I had the phone packed and everything ready to go. I was going to ship it out on Monday. I canceled on Friday, and it was Sunday night. I was going to ship the phone out, but you know what? I had a change of heart because I was using the SA Plus on Sprint. Friday, Saturday, just the difference in speed on the phone, the device itself, um, and then just the data was unbearable. Um here at my house, at work, uh, while I'm on the road using GPS, signal was constantly getting lost or whatever. It, from what I remember from Xfinity, I, I could not stay with that. So I opened up the box, I contacted custom, uh, customer service for Xfinity. I know I was just poo-pooing on them, but I called them up because I had to and I reinstated my, my phone. Now that took about five minutes and that includes whole time where I spoke to a representative, she, she asked if I still had the device, we, uh, I turned it on, they, um, they take down your information, you know, your name, all that stuff to identify you, they have the phone, you know, the IMI number in the system, so all they have to do is basically flick a switch, turn it on, and there you go. It was instantly uh, working and no complaints thus far. Um, on a side note though, I still have my T-Mobile SIM um, and I'm keeping that one just in case to see what happens with uh, Xfinity. Uh, number one, when I move, I'm moving to Tampa on the west side of Florida where I'm on the east side now. And um, well, number one, I wanna see uh, what the service is like and number two, what's gonna happen with Xfinity. Because one of them, another major issue onto why I left Xfinity to begin with was one representative told me it would be $55 instead of $45 without Xfinity. Because we're in Tampa, where I'm going, we only have Frontier, which is Verizon. Okay, So they told me without Comcast and home internet, it would be $55. I thought, okay, that's too good to be true, though. I looked online, it said $65. I called up a second time, and I got a second representative. And they told me it would be 65. So I said, okay, that makes sense. But the first guy told me 55. So I wanted to call for a third time, a third different day, speak to a third different person and see what they told me. This person told me that it would be $75 a month. So when he told me 75, I thought that was outrageous. And I was going to leave and go back to Sprint and stay with them because I have them now on a family plan. Um, but I decided to unlock the device before I left 
um, Xfinity. And it was a very easy process. Um, and I had a, I had a T-Mobile SIM card. I bought a Verizon one thinking it would be compatible, but for some reason, the representative at Verizon told me that this Note 8 is not compatible with the Verizon network. That's what he told me. So T-Mobile was it. I didn't try AT&T or um, there was another one. I think it was like a, a smaller tier based off of somebody else, like GoPhone or something. But I didn't try AT&T. Uh, but I looked online anyways. After I set up T-Mobile and it worked and everything, T-Mobile's unlimited, truly unlimited, was set, was $75 a month. If this guy was correct, $75 for Xfinity, it was just like, all right, well, I'll stick with Xfinity because in the in the long run, it's the same amongst all the mobile carriers. Unless you're going with Sprint, which they are garbage. Anyways, um, it's a waiting game now. We're going to see what happens. Uh, well, I'm going to see what happens, and I'm going to let you guys know what happens. That's how this works. Um, I will definitely be updating you on that. Uh, the move happens in January. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm excited uh, because I want to see. I, I'm very uh, excited and nervous to see what happens with Xfinity because the service has been phenomenal. And I had the privilege of having uh, someone comment on one of the videos that I made about Xfinity who uh, he claims to be a tier two representative from Xfinity. Now, I don't know this guy from a brick in the wall, but I'm going to take his word on it. I didn't feel like he was trolling me. And he told me that it would be $55 a month. That the it's only a $10 difference for not having home internet. So I'm gonna wait and see because I got four different answers. Two of them were the same, but they're amongst two different people. And anyways, the craziness does not end. Not here on the Eddie train, baby. We're gonna plow right through this. I'm gonna let you know how it is in Tampa, how the phone works, all that craziness. Thanks for watching. I'm back on Xfinity, baby. I said that a bunch of times, and I'll say it one more time. Xfinity, baby. Thanks for watching this guy talk about this stuff. You guys are awesome. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Just, you know, click on it. And um, let me know what you think down in, down in the comment section down below what you think. Uh, of X X X What you think of Xfinity Sprint, if you have any questions. Leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them uh, amongst my experience. Anyways, peace. That was weird. Don't worry.